Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with my launch day unboxing of my 128 gig matte black iPhone 7 Plus. Very excited. So opening this up, you can see first of all we have some Apple paperwork and stuff on top rather than seeing your phone first. Maybe that's to keep the anticipation. And then, yes, a phone. Black front, black back. Very, very nice. Let's look and see what's underneath first. We have our standard charging cube. Then we have our headphones. Um, these headphones have a lightning end to them rather than your standard headphone jack. And then on the back of the package, Looks like this is where our adapter is. And then finally, not surprisingly, we have our charging cable. Now it's time for the grand unwrapping of the iPhone. You can't go back from this. I always like this part. Wow. This really, really looks great. It's interesting to me that this is so very black. In a lot of the pictures that you see, when you have this matte black next to the jet black, it looks almost like a grayish black, but I can tell you it's really not in real life. This is a black, black, black. Not shiny and hopefully not going to be the fingerprint and scratch magnet that the jet black is supposed to be. But wow, I mean, this looks like a super stealth black. I just really love the look of it. It's also very silky smooth, very nice feel. Um, I'm sure that it will be in a case very, very soon, of course, but still, if you were to just hold it like this, it has a really nice feel in the hand. Looking at the phone, there's not a whole lot different on the outside here. On the bottom, obviously, we have lost our headphone jack. Uh, we have what looks like dual speakers on the bottom, although I believe one side is speaker and the other is microphone. And then we have our lightning port, which is going to have many uses this time around. Going around to the side, just sleek, black, beautiful, looking wonderful. Um, interestingly, the volume buttons are no longer in kind of a little depressed area. They're just sticking straight out of the side now. Mute switch looks just the same. They've done very nice things with the dark colored iPhones in terms of keeping the antenna lines hidden. I mean, you can see them if you're really looking for them, but they no longer jump out at you, which is really nice. Going around to the back here, got that cool dual camera. Really like the way they have this kind of uh, sloping up thing now rather than just jutting out. I think it has a very nice kind of cool look. And, you know, looking at the dual camera, you're always wondering, wow, what's all that for? So I haven't tried it out yet. Really looking forward to checking out that functionality. In terms of the Apple, I like the fact that we have the black Apple symbol here in the back now. This just has a really cool, very stealth look to it. Overall, I think that this new matte black color is a total winner for the iPhone. Very excited to have it in the color lineup. Of course, I'll be covering it up with cases very soon. I have a whole bunch of cases in the pipeline here. I'll be reviewing spec and OtterBox cases this weekend, and I have all kinds of other cases yet to come. I've got Tech 21, I've got Spigen, I've got VRS Design, got all kinds of cool stuff to be showing you. So if you're interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. Channel is the Tech Reviewer, and this this is Kristen. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch my unboxing video and have a wonderful day.